What's up guys? It's Saturday morning, bright and early, about 7 o'clock. No hat today because we are going to get down and dirty. We're going to try and get the trans in today. But I'm going to divide this video into two parts. Which will be putting up the clutch pedal and the master cylinder. Which involves cutting down here. Or drilling it. Because of how the master cylinder rod connects to the clutch pedal so the general area is gonna come up from like somewhere over there but first before we put the clutch and stuff or the clutch pedal I'm gonna be putting on the pedal pads because I feel like it'll be harder to work with when it's already in there I think we just gotta like slip it on but it's kind of tight, so I think a flathead would be helpful. And there it is. So we're going to do the same thing to the clutch pedal. And once you get that on, we are now going to make a template for this guy. So one hole, one big hole in the middle for this part and two small holes for the mounting bolts to go through. We are going to use a cardboard. So cut off the a piece then grab your hole saws if you guys don't have a hole saw kit I think you can use like a unit bit drill bit and I think they said the hole is like inch and a quarter Inch and threes. It's kind of perfect. Inch and three eighths. If you guys an electrician, you guys should know what hole that is for. <laughs> We're gonna start off with making a hole in a cardboard. You have your hole take your master cylinder put it through try to make sure that it's kind of centered because the hole is a, a little bigger once you found the center or what you think you found the center flip it over and trace your mounting holes and you can trace this through if you like I'm gonna trace it because I'm gonna cut it out. And boom, that's pretty much it. To draw the mounting holes out. Make sure it's straight though.
Grab your scissors and cut it out. So we're not gonna cut it out perfectly because I don't want the cardboard to be like flimsy. It kinda already is. Okay, so this is the spot where the master cylinder is gonna go. And notice these indentations over here, like this side is like more recessed in as it goes up and then towards a, a flatter side. We can find that also in here. <clears throat> this part. So there's like already a cutout for it. I guess because Toyota's mass production and they made it all the same. Take out this and it'll go right here. So like the two mounting holes as well as the big inch and three eighths or inch and a quarter size. Also take note of, so this is a clutch pedal, right? It goes in this way. And there's also a mounting bolt over here, which this also has right there. So pop this out, mount the master cylinder on the other side and also mount it over there. Here's the other one. That. So I drew orientation marks on this thing. So that line that I drew, it has to be going straight up and down. Cause I don't wanna like mark it like this or like this. And that's where the slave or the master sits straight up and down vertically. And I've been doing a lot of research on people who did the swap, but there weren't any videos on it. But there are mostly like forum write-ups about it. And almost everybody said that they just winged it. They just chanced it and I guess it all worked for them. Even my friend Josh. So I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. Oh, great. Just right here. All right. I think we are ready. Again, you guys should use a center punch. And grab your unit bit and enlarge the hole. Now 
Hole. Damn, that was a hassle. Now to moment of truth. Check if the master cylinder clears like a lot of the parts. All right, I got it in, and this is pretty much how it'll look like. Five speed already. All right, so I gotta take this out and now I'll try to fit the clutch pedal. I think I need to bore out the holes a little more. Next, grab some paint and a Q-tip. All right, you want to put a coat over the exposed metal parts? Because I think I explained it before that those parts are easier to rust like in case I take this truck to the beach and there's like salt in the sand and those areas would probably be rusting without me even knowing it so better to be safe than sorry gotta take care Whoops. Nobody's gonna see that anyways. Double check the outside too. And I mean like, sand's not gonna come, probably not gonna come all the way up here, but just the uh, salty air. It's like, you know how cars, well, here in Hawaii, when they park, when they live close to the beach, their cars are like, kinda rusty. Cause it's salt air. There's air in the salt. So I'm just gonna do the brake pedal next time because there's like a lot actually involved. Like there's a C-clip over there you gotta take out and disconnect the other linkage and stuff and I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to have room up there but yeah pretty much you just get this in and once you pop the threads in there's an upper mounting bolt that I showed you guys earlier to hold that and then those two bolts sticking out is what pops through here the other side and you just bolt that in uh, remember the bolt I was showing you guys up there so it just bolts right up you're also gonna have to move um, this out of the way the EGR stuff to bolt the bottom of the master cylinder and I also have to get some new nuts so a thread pitch for this is M8 by 1.25 thread pitch and I bought the flange nuts for this oh wrong size So everything is tightened and now we have this connecting rod from the clutch master. So 
so we're gonna put it in between here and we don't have a clevis pin to hold it together like how it should be but I'm just gonna use a bolt for now and then some nuts I have to order one. And you also gotta adjust your um, connecting rod. But there's pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's like other videos on YouTube how to do that. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail. You know, we got some stuff to do. Taking that down later. And there you go, clutch pedal is in. Stay tuned for part three.